me and all these kinds of things to equip you to live the life that Jesus has called us to live. So that, that's, where we're, that's where we're headed. Now, we live in a very crooked, crooked world. It is. It's very corrupt. It's very crooked. There are people who are bent on destruction and evil. They really are. All right. Um, so some people says, what about, pastor, what about a one world government? And what about, you know, the, the end of cash and the end of all these things? Uh, I, I would say this. Uh, you know, the trend is that's where things are headed, isn't it? That's where things, you got globalists who are bent on increasing their power and increasing their, um, you know, their money. And how do they do that? They do that in various ways. They, they just want more power. They want more influence. Uh, they want more money. And they're going to continue that streak. It's up to us to understand what's going on. And let's stick to what, what's important to me. What's important to me is preaching the gospel, getting people into the kingdom of God, discipling them, getting them built up, and, yeah. and serving the kingdom of God. That's, that's where it is. I believe that um, as the waters cover the earth, righteousness can cover the earth, right? And so if the church goes forth and does what it's supposed to do, the gospel goes forth, and people are better. Listen, when Christianity comes into a country or a people, it improves the quality of life. It improves the situation. It doesn't take them down. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> We're going to read uh, an interesting passage of Scripture. Uh, this is addressing Jesus' answer to the question, and what are the signs of the end of the age? Starting in chapter 24, verse 36. Uh, but let's pray first. Father, thank you for bringing us to this place you, and to this particular time that we can preach this particular message. Lord, I pray you give us ears to hear what your spirit is saying. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Verse. Yeah. But concerning the day and the hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. For as were the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and given in marriage until the day when Noah entered the ark. And they were unaware until the flood came and swept them all away. So will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two men will be in the field. One will be taken and one left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and one left. Therefore, stay awake. For you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known in what part of the night that the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore, you also must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says to himself, my master is delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants and eats and drinks with drunkards, the master of the servant will come on a day when he does not expect him and at an hour he does not know and will cut him in pieces. 